There are more Chevy trucks on the road than any other make. Series 9 Love. Chevrolet's economical compact pickup that's fun to drive and size to fit today's needs. With the economy and impressive maneuverability you'd expect from Chevy's tough little pickup. For 1979, an exciting new love. The four-wheel drive economy pickup from Chevrolet. Dressed up with standard styled wheels, white lettered all-terrain tires, and available chrome hub covers, sport stripes, and 4x4 decals. Love's part-time four-wheel drive comes equipped with manual locking front hubs. Rugged, versatile, with a fun of adventure off the beaten path. Love's 4x4 front driving axle has independent torsion bar suspension and a stabilizer bar for a smooth, stable ride. The double acting shocks are shielded for protection. The transfer case has two speeds for versatility and the standard fully synchronized four-speed transmission helps give Love its good fuel economy. When the going is really tough, Love's four-wheel drive independent front suspension steps easily over bumps and through ruts. And its standard bias-belted all-terrain tires help provide impressive traction. The low gear of the two-speed transfer case has a ratio of 1.87 to 1 to multiply the engine torque and help move Love through mud, sand, gravel, and snow. Or up steep hill. The four-wheel drive Love has a short 102.4 inch wheelbase and a narrow 54.4 inch track for good maneuverability in tight places, a maximum payload rating of 1165 pounds, and a six-foot cargo box. Love also offers two two-wheel drive pickups, a short wheelbase model featuring a soft ride suspension system and a six-foot box, and a long wheelbase model with the longest cargo box in the industry, seven and a half feet, and a big 1,635 pounds of payload rating. A chassis cab model is also available so that special bodies or equipment can be used with this tough little truck. Love's 110 cubic inch four cylinder engine offers 80 horsepower and the kind of fuel economy needed in today's energy conscious America. The standard four speed manual transmission contributes to Love's good fuel economy and so does the new 3.73 economy rear axle ratio on four speed two-wheel drive pickup. Love's attractive exterior. The interior includes a glove box, easy to read instruments and gauges, and power flow through ventilation as standard equipment. And all controls are within easy reach of the driver. Among the many options available is the top of the line Mikado interior with seat and doors in blue, saddle or red herringbone cloth, and color-coordinated carpeting. Also available, full-foam high-back bucket seats in red herringbone cloth. Other available options include a three-speed automatic transmission, redesigned with improved shift points, factory-installed air conditioning, a new chrome step bumper, new sport striping, and for Love's four-wheel drive pickup, a skid plate package to help protect the radiator, transfer case, and fuel tank. Love, Chevy's big little pickup. Big in cargo capacity, small in size, impressive in fuel economy. Truly a truck for today's needs. Love, the tough little truck from Chevrolet.
Chevrolet, fastest growing van sales in America. There's one important yardstick for measuring the difference between Chevy, Dodge, and Ford vans. Value. How much value is a customer getting for his or her buying dollar? Let's examine some of the value features of Chevy's vans and compare them with Dodge and Ford. Interior space is the whole idea of a van. To provide a large amount of room for bins and racks, cargo, van furnishings, extra long loads, and comfort without an extra long wheelbase. and a shorter overall length than Ford for easy maneuvering, yet longer load space for more cargo, plus greater cargo carrying capacity than either Ford or Dodge. How do we do it? With the efficient design of Chevy's unitized body construction. Design is always an important feature of value. With Chevy Van, you get the advantage of more convenient loading and unloading, easier entry and exit, an important mark of value in a van. The effective Chevy Van sliding side door opening is over three inches wider and over an inch higher than the Econoline sliding side door, and over four inches wider and two inches higher than the effective Dodge Van sliding side door opening. Chevy van rear doors are also higher and wider than the rear doors of both Ford's Econoline and Dodge's van. Convenience is another consideration when determining van value. Look for it in Chevy's design and innovative options, which are not available on Ford or Dodge vans. Options like Chevy van's new power front windows, the available handy lockable storage compartment under the passenger's front seat, or the available factory installed roof ventilator to help improve air circulation that's not available on Ford. Both Ford and Dodge offer rear air conditioners, but Chevy's optional rear air conditioner is located high at the back of the interior. Compare it with the side-mounted rear air conditioner of Ford's, which is similar in design to Dodge. With this location, 
Passengers could obstruct the airflow. Only Chevy van provides anti-skid strips in front step wells as a standard feature. Neither Dodge or Ford provide standard anti-skid strips. And only from Chevrolet can you order a factory installed optional sliding side door extender link to accommodate customized fender flares and wide tires. How do you achieve value? Through thoughtful innovation. This security option is not available from Ford or Dodge. There's another basis for comparison when measuring van value. That's quality. The Chevy van floor is obstacle-free with continuous skid strips to make it easy to slide cargo in or out. Compare it to the Econoline floor skid strips that do not extend continuously from front to rear and the exposed bolt heads that could catch on sliding cargo. Look at the finished workmanship of this Chevy van headliner contrasted with the Econo line. Differences in value that you can see if you know where to look. Chevy Van puts the license plate here on the bumper so that a spare tire can be mounted outside here. But on the Dodge Van and the Econo line, the license plate is mounted in the door. And it means that an outside spare tire must be mounted on the right side where it can interfere with normal door operation. And notice this Dodge van rear door. Large cutout areas in the sheet metal and a protruding lock striker bolt that can get in the way when you're loading cargo or yourself. Chevy van provides this double panel rear door with no protruding lock striker bolt. Or take a good look at Dodge van's interior exposed dome light and tail light wiring, visible wells on the floor, the side panel header and upper door frame, both left untrimmed. Then, examine the Chevy van interior. You'll see quality engineering and quality manufacturing that add up to value. Chevy vans offer value that you should see and feel for yourself in a demo ride. Take one and discover what Chevy van value is all about. Chevrolet, fastest growing van sales in America. There are more Chevy trucks on the road than any other make. Chevrolet knows that today's pickup buyers are looking for top value, seeing how much value their buying dollar will get them. Looking for good engineering, toughness, reliability, and quality in the design and manufacture of the pickup they're going to own. We at Chevrolet think that our pickups have an edge over competition. We'd like to show you some of the toughness and value in the Chevrolet pickup and compare it with Ford. To begin with, Chevy trucks are built with double wall construction here in the hood, in the fenders, here in the cab, and in the doors, in the fleet side pickup box sidewalls, and fleet side tailgate. Ford uses essentially single wall construction in their hood, and their fenders are single wall. 
They even use single wall construction on their cab. But Ford must think that double wall construction has some merit because they are using it in some parts of their truck, like the doors, the box side, and the tailgate. But they still don't use it as completely as Chevrolet. Here's a little thing, but I want to show it to you because it indicates the thought and effort that goes into the total engineering of a Chevy truck. It's Chevy's double wall tailgate, built tough, and at the same time, easy to remove. Why? To help make otherwise difficult loading jobs quick and easy. Ford's tailgate is engineered with bolts holding it to the box side walls, which means you need a wrench to get it off, and time. However, bolts are used to put our pickup box together. And there's a reason. It's so panels can be easily replaced if they become damaged. Ford welds their box together. If their panels are damaged, they have to be cut off. And replacement panels welded back on. More expensive to fix than Chevy? You bet. Let me show you some engineering features which give Chevy pickups another edge over Ford. This is Chevy's tough, massive girder beam, independent front suspension, with upper and lower control arms, computer match springs, and ride calibrated shocks. Ford's front suspension uses long, single arms that give the wheels more of an arcing motion. Chevrolet's been engineered to take bumps and ruts like a truck, in stride, with independent, near vertical wheel motion. Look at the action of Chevy's tire. Now, look at the action of the Ford tire. Because truck suspensions can really take a beating, Chevy provides adjustment for each front wheel, separately, for camber and caster, and tow-in settings. Ford's front suspension has only one adjustment, for tow-in. And that one adjustment is for both wheels. Not as accurate, I'm afraid, as Chevy's individual adjustment. Their shop manual says, incorrect toe setting is the most likely cause of excessive or uneven tire wear. Ford has no easy adjustment for camber or caster. Their service manual says, the twin I-beam front suspension design used on all F-series, E-series, and Bronco vehicles has caster and camber angles built in and are non-adjustable. Their shop manual also says, note, twin I-beam axles are not to be bent or twisted to correct caster or camber readings. What does Ford recommend when it gets outside of specification limits? I quote from their manual again. If the caster and camber measurements exceed the maximum variances, inspect for damaged front suspension components. Replace as required. More expensive than Chevy's fully adjustable front end? Yes, sir. What else gives Chevy's pickup its value? Things like computer-selected brakes. Disc brake wear sensors that tell you when your pads need changing so you won't score the discs. Rear shocks that are staggered. Aluminized muffler and tailpipe. Thinned rear brake drum and more. But none of these are available on Ford's pickup, even as extra cost options. Want to see more Chevy value? Then let's look at Chevy's interior. Chevy's pickup interior is designed for comfort and convenience. It has more headroom, more shoulder room, and hip room than Ford. We thought it was important to put a steering column lock on Chevy to help deter theft. Ford may offer an anti-theft system in the future. Chevy has its standard now. Power windows and power door locks. We've had these two comfort and convenience options on Chevy pickups for years. Ford doesn't have them. Here's another little feature that demonstrates Chevy's edge on quality. The back of the seat is upholstered, and there's a tray to hold small packages or a briefcase. And there's even more value in Chevy's 1979 pickup. 
Look at this Chevy engine compartment. It's been thoughtfully planned. It's open and accessible for maintenance when it's needed. Now, look at this Ford. While we're looking under hoods, let me talk to you about an improvement made this year in Chevy pickups. It's the improved 4.1 liter, 250 cubic inch displacement, six cylinder engine with impressive accelerator response, added torque, and more horsepower than a 256 has ever had. It's a General Motors design exclusive that Ford doesn't have. We at Chevrolet think that our pickups have an edge over competition. Ask your salesperson to let you drive a tough Chevy pickup so that you can experience for yourself the quality and pride that goes into the engineering and manufacture of every Chevrolet truck.